While education and the need to properly educate Africa's next generation of leaders has been a hot topic for decades, Nigeria alone still has more than 10 million children out of school. This is more than any country in Africa. Aside from the Nigerian government, this situation is being addressed by current efforts of some concerned individuals. One of such individuals is Zuria Oduwale, a 13-year-old documentary filmmaker. Zuria for some years now has been an advocate for education, especially for the girl child. To find practical ways to educate children in the African continent, including Nigeria, she hosted some youths from different parts of the country within the ages of 13 to 25 at this forum in Lagos. I believe that there are three ways we can educate children in the rural parts of the African continent. They are, one, the human resources that are willing to teach, two, the technology we are able to share, and three, the relevant software to power the combination of all three. Made up of high achieving students, young teachers, and also young entrepreneurs, these youths were contacted through social media because of their efforts in improving the education sector in their own little way. One by one, they wrote down and shared ideas on the challenge confronting the education sector in Nigeria and how it can be resolved. The main challenge will be ignorance among not just the child but parents and poverty. We can go through the local government and source for more human resource, that is voluntary teachers that can be furthered towards the small communities. It seems in Anambra State the challenge we face is our young boys being unable to go to school. And this is because indigents of the state are involved mostly in the master-servant occupation. Two, education challenge. Even those who have the opportunity of going to school are being faced with the problem of erosion destroying the little educational infrastructure. The gully erosion has destroyed most of the facilities that we young people would harness to become better. After reading out their ideas, it was time to brainstorm on how best to bring the ideas to reality. I think the government, if, if like necessarily, if, if there is necessary to donate money, they need to improve on the government schools because I think they need a lot of like things to add to the schools. They need to improve the chairs, the learning resources need to be improved. And, and I think they need to pay the teachers more because it will motivate them to like teach the children well. And they need to feed the children themselves because you can't actually learn on an empty stomach. Nobody wants to do that. So they need to, to encourage the children that, oh, you can actually learn and be happy learning. Usually whenever I interview these heads of state, I always talk to them about creating policies for education in their countries to improve education and also the, to allow other children who don't have the same access to resources and the same opportunity as others would to have a chance to go to school. Zuria, who has interviewed so many high-profile individuals, including presidents and prime ministers, hopes to sway the government to take more action on education to ensure every child gets the chance to be educated. Thelma Okoro, TV360, Lagos.